Hey guys, I was going to do a video on yesterday about something that truly happened on the 4th of April, but on that day, on on Thursday, I couldn't do it because I was too busy with schoolwork, and then yesterday I was going to, but I couldn't do it because of um, because I had to go shopping. So now I'm going to tell you right now about what happened, and I got this bottle of Coca-Cola. So, on the 4th of April, one of the most beloved critics died, which is Roger Ebert, 70 years old, after battling, um, uh, what was it, a thyroid, the cancer in his thyroid gland, you know, because that's why he couldn't talk. But, I mean, I don't know, I mean, he, if you excuse me, my uh, heating duct is kicking in, so if you hear, doo -doo 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 -doo, it's my heating duct, so I apologize for that. But it's it's weird to think that well it's like what would happen if Roger Ebert did die? Everyone would be going falling apart on this, you know. But it happened, so it happened. So I mean, I've I, I've never heard of him as a kid, you know. I've never saw the Cisco and Ebert or the um, Ebert and Roper until one until I started watching Nostalgia Critic. On this Godzilla, he brought up Cisco and Ebert on the Godzilla review because in the movie they're parroting those guys as a mayor and a second in command in that movie. And then then I saw the tribute video on that same year when he when the critic posted it, November something 2009. It was I had to admit it's a really great video. I recommend you guys checking it out. And after I watched that video, um. Oh wait, before, well before that, he did North, the movie, and then he talked about Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, the review of, the, uh, their review on it. So here's the thing though, after I saw a critic's review of North on the first day it came out, on May something, 2009, I think it's what it was, or June, it was June, June something, 2009, after I saw that critic's review of it, I had to go see Siskel and Ebert's review on it, and... It is really great, guys. I mean, I still watch that to this day. And then I saw the tribute video in November 2009. And that's a great video. And I started watching more of the Cisco and Ebert. I'm still watching some of it because I'm still trying to catch up on it. And I saw bits and pieces of Ebert and Roper, but I'm starting to watch that. I mean, I don't know what to say. He is just a great critic, and I respect him for that. Even though... Some of the movies that I think are god-awful, he'll give good reviews on, but I'm not going to hate him on him because of his opinion on him. I mean, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinions on it. Like, for me, I really dislike that fucking prequel to The Thing. He gave the same rating to the the original The Thing, the John Carpenter Thing, two and a half stars out of four. And I'm not going to hate him on that because of his rating. And that's that's why I hate about it. People, they hate pe other people because they talk crap about it. That's just fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. It is. So, and I heard news about Ebert being dead on the Cinema Snobs website. You know, he's got this like five paragraph um, or six paragraph about how he was a how... I think one part he talked about how the cinema snob was kind of like parodying Roger Ebert. I'm I've seen the whole thing. I can't barely remember. So I mean, it's a great read from Brad. It's a really good paragraph, and I'm gonna put a link down there in the description so you guys can take a look and see. And I was wishing that I could see Roger Ebert, and I really wanted to meet the guy. To be honest, though, I haven't told you guys this. I was planning on doing a tribute to Siskel and Ebert because of critics showing me Siskel and Ebert. You know, I was going to do it like how Critic did, but not copying it. I want to talk about how Siskel and Ebert are great critics, you know, but Roger Ebert steals the show. And I was going to take the video that I that, and just send it to Roger Ebert's Twitter so I could show him that this is my gratitude to him. Well, apparently he's dead, so that's not going to happen. So, yeah, I mean, Roger Ebert, you are a fantastic critic, and we will all miss you. We will all miss you, buddy. <laughs> so, 
If you guys want to see more of him, I highly recommend just Googling up Roger Ebert or better yet, watch the Cisco and Ebert videos or watch the Ebert and Roper videos. I mean, he's just a great critic and no one can be better than him. So right now, the only person I'm going to hope for to see in reviews on every movie that I see is Richard Roper because I think Richard Roper is a good critic too. So that's about it and Roger Ebert, this is for you. So... Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.